And I just wish for a minute that your fucking home run that you've been praying to hit in life is sitting right fucking here. And you keep fucking waiting, and you keep waiting, and you keep waiting. You're gonna fucking miss out. I don't care what I want, I care what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream, and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you all listening to me, because I run it. I'm the only one that really want it. Think I'm about it, right? Like, let, let's, everybody say common sense. common sense. Common sense, everybody wants to make money, right, Alex? Yeah. What's the fucking difference between them and us? This. This is it, because if you're not in here, you're just doing the work. Okay, you, are you an athlete? You're an athlete? Okay, the people that you still are fucking athlete. Okay, don't ever say was. Matter of fact, that's 10 push-ups. Let's go. Come on. Come on, that motherfucker is an athlete. Don't let that motherfucker lie to you. Come on, man. Hey, dude, I'm dying to hear what you guys got to say today. We're going to leave here today with the biggest chest pump we've ever had in our life. Oh, yeah. You are an athlete, am I right? Okay, now listen to me. You fucking, whoever told you weren't anymore is a liar and you've been sold a fucking lie. And it could have been you on accident. But you are an athlete. Now the people that you look up to and you admire in life right now, okay? The athletes that you look up to. You still got a couple you watch. You're really, you know, you're, you're, you're rooting them on. You believe in these guys, right? Are they putting the work in? Are they training? Dude, are they good already? They're the best. But are they still training? Because they know somebody else wants that fucking spot. You guys feel me? Dude, listen to me. If you're one of the top, you're one of the best in the world right now. If you are, somebody else wants to come knock your fucking ass out right now. You don't get to keep the belt. That's rule number one, okay? And rule number two, if you don't have the belt, go find the motherfucker that does and get, figure out how to learn what they learned and go knock their ass out. That's what we fucking did. I've done it my whole life. So I'm going to tell you this. Underdogs are dangerous. If you're in this room right now, you're raised poor, you're an underdog, nobody ever believed in you. Dude, listen, you listen to me today, it's fucking over. Okay, because nobody believed in me. All I need you to do is believe in you. See, the cool thing what we're going to do today, Alex, is we don't need anyone else to cheer you guys on. I need you guys to use your mind, and I need you to reprogram the way you fucking think from now on. That's it. Like, today you're going to figure it out. Now you're dangerous. Now when you go back in on Saturday, or on Sunday, or Monday, or Tuesday, or the next 365 days, now you're ready. But you got to be around people that constantly chase success at a higher level than you. And it honestly pisses you off because you're like, man, something's got to be like, like these people are built different. They're not built different, dude. If you mean built different by showing up earlier, right? Going home later, doing the fucking studying, taking the TV off their wall, putting up a fucking whiteboard. If that's what you mean, built different. Okay, they're built different. That's the shit we need in this room. You guys know, man, you know how to do it. You guys already know all this. Am I right? Does everybody already know this shit? You fucking get civilized. You're getting civilized. You're getting soft. Don't do that, man. One idea could change everything, okay? Anybody that has been where I want to go, I study their ass. I want to know everything they know. The people that we look up to, the reason why we look up to them is because they're fucking the elite. They're badasses. And they train like crazy. These people don't go tell people how hard they train. They train in the fucking dark. These people live in darkness. When they're out in the light, putting on a show that's worth paying for. Did you guys don't even see their fucking grind? So a lot of times people want to be those people. You don't want to be those fucking people. You have no idea what they went through. You have no idea. When I tell you today what you're going to have to go through to get where you want, some of you are going to opt out. I'm fucking cool. Stay a loser. Guys, there's 8 billion people. Okay, I, prom I told Alex, I said, Alex, I know the army you want. I can build it. You guys have the culture. Am I right? Yes. So if we got the training, we got the culture. I told Alex, he's like, man, hey, he's like, dude, it would be super cool to have my whole fucking team fit. What does that mean? Is this motherfucker thinking big? Yes. I want to know how many times, how many times have you worked for somebody that didn't think big? Before this. Every, every fucking job we ever had. This motherfucker's thinking big. What does he need? Big players. Am I right? Yeah. Big thinkers. Sales and leadership, two, two most important skills in your life. And that's what I told him. And if you guys listen to what he said, Alex said this. I told them about entrepreneurship. I said, anybody know Andy Frazella? Yes. Ed Milet? Yes. Gary V? Yes. Okay, David Goggins? Yes. Okay, we keep going on. Who else you like? Bradley, who else you like? Anybody? Oh, Eric Thomas, who else you like? Tim Ed Milet, who else? Tim, Tim Grover, who else? Alex Ramosi, anybody else? Okay, but here's my point. You see that right there? All those people work for different companies, don't they? See, what I told them, I said, my company is called the LA. Is his company called Alex? No. It's called Spartan Solar. You guys fucking Spartans? Yep. That's your fucking movement. That's your name. 
Now, the question is, are we going to go get fucking recruited because somebody's paying more money? Are we going to go work for someone else because he's a dick today and he told us the truth and he called us a pussy in training when he actually fucking loves us and we know where his heart is? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Listen, I can talk to you guys however I want because I know where my heart is with you guys. If I come in here being a fucking dick and I didn't care about you guys, then you guys get up and walk out. I give a fuck about more than anyone else in your life other than him, I guarantee it for you guys to fucking change. It's all I want. It's all I want. So when I get fucking passionate, it ain't me trying to fucking be me. I'm trying to fucking get into your head and tell you, dude, wake up. But I want to tell you, what he just said is he wants you guys to run the whole entire solar industry for as long as we can. What does that mean? We don't want to share it with anybody. See this pie? We don't want to be this. We want all of this. So you know what he wants to do? He wants to start building up the greatest solar reps, greatest solar leaders that ever existed in the world. Okay? You guys create a brotherhood. You guys create a massive team. You guys create massive fucking rec new recruits coming in who all want to do what? Make money, be a part of a good team. Does everybody want to feel accepted? Does everybody want to be a part of something? Yeah. yeah. Guys, do we know what everybody wants? Do we know what they want? They want to be around fucking great people. Everybody in this world is negative. Would everybody agree? Yes. Okay, what happens if we're the most positive company in the fucking world? What, what happens if we're direct together? Like, like when he wasn't wearing a shirt, I should tell him, like, hey, where's your fucking shirt? Like, is that a dick of me? No, no it's me fucking holding him to his standard. Okay? And if he's like, man, I don't have to wear that shit, get him out. I don't know what he's going through, but get him the fuck out of here because we don't, we don't roll that way. We got to have some standards. We got to have some core values we live by. Now, can I ask you a question? Is it all of our core values and all of our standards or is it his? It's all of y'all's. And what he just said with all of you is that I name these big names. These big names once had no name. They once had no name. And they fucking rose up. Guys, three years ago, I quit my job. November of 2019. Is that just the other day? Yeah. That's like 2020, dude. I quit my job. Two and a half million dollar job, walked away from it. I wanted to start my own business. Dude, in three years, I built a nine figure business. <clears throat> I was never an entrepreneur. You know what I did? I fucking studied everybody. That's what you're gonna do today. I know every fucking badass in the world and I've studied everything they know. I know them better than they know them. What I want you to do is I want you to listen to everything that I say today and I want you to audit your life. Audit your mind, audit the way you speak, audit the way you talk, audit your conviction, audit your communication skills, and audit your loyalty. Who are you fucking loyal to? Some of you guys are more, more loyal to your fucking buddy who wants to keep you a loser than him. Some of you are more loyal to your old fucking life than your new life that he keeps trying to pull you over to. We gotta make some decisions today, okay? And I want you guys to go all in. Lean into this shit. Lean in. And dude, I want some of you, when you leave today, you're like, hey, babe, I break up. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Some of you are like, dude, I'm moving out. I'm done. Some of you are like, hey, man, I quit that. I'm done. Some of you are like, dude, hey, I'm no longer your friends. And some of you won't explain anything to anybody, and you'll just go dark and lean into the company. Whatever you do, this is your future. This future will give you everything you want in life and what no one else ever imagined you could have considering yourself. Even you didn't know you could have this. See, he knows something that you guys don't know. He knows where he's gonna go at the end of this year. You know what he wants? He wants you guys fucking with him. He wants you to be at the top. This needs to be layer one of the company. What does that mean? That means if there's 50 people in the room and he hires 500, should these 50 be leading these 500, yes or no? Yes. What if 500 more come in and you just blend in because you didn't fucking level up when the other 500 came in? But that's most of the world. They bring in more people, people blend. I see people in companies, go, man, I've been here for four years, man, nobody recognizes me. No shit, man, you fucking suck. Dude, the new guy is grateful. He appreciates it. The new guy is trying to prove himself every fucking day. But you're over here bitching about how long you've been here. <laughs> you wonder why he's got our attention? Because he's trying to prove himself, just like he is. How do I know that? 
Because everything that he's doing is a risk. He's trying to risk everything to put all this together for all of us. You guys feel me? So I just wanted to say, man, when you said this and you were like, Andy, that's what I want. I thought, fuck, dude, this guy has big plans for you all. He's got big plans for you. He's got fucking massive plans for you. Don't get comfortable. You know what I want you guys to do? Number one goal, I want you to take his fucking soul. I mean it. I want you to go so hard. I want you to be more loyal. I want you to be more committed to this than you've ever been to anything else. Remember the sports you played? Yeah. Fuck that. This is it. Okay? It's time to compete again. It's time to get in your best fucking shape. It's time to get elite. We go to those doors, people are going to be like, what the fuck are you selling fitness? Okay, <laughs> now, how you doing? I'm Andy. They're like, what's going on, man? Hey, people catch your attention when they take care of themselves, don't they? Yep. You ever see a motherfucker walk in the room, fat, and he catches your attention? No. You know, like, oh. It's like everybody's fucking that way. I walked on the airplane yesterday, I'm like, fuck, dude. It's like, it's like, fuck. And then, and then I'm like, but when, when, a, when a guy or a gal walks in the room and they're fucking in good shape, what do you do? Hey. So it was wild because there's a huge dude right behind him when he was standing speaking to me about this fitness. I'm like, oh, this guy, if he's listening in right now, it's going to hit him over the head. I did. I fucking wanted to torture his ass. You know why? Because he needs to change his life for his family. Okay? Because he's leading his kids down the wrong road. Now, here's the deal. By the way, this isn't about money. Do you guys get this? Money's fucking common. Okay? Everybody needs to understand this. Dude, Alex, money's common. Is there more money than we know what to do with? It's infinite. Question is, how do we fucking get it? Communication. We get it by building an army, Elliot Army, Spartan Army. This is y'all's team. You guys are fucking soldiers. You know what that means? You got to be weaponized. How are you weaponized? Your eyes, your hands, your mouth. Don't speak with your mouth anymore. Speak with your heart. Do you guys love people? Okay, if you don't love people, you're never going to make any money. Some of you guys are like, I ain't making no money. Or I only make some money sometimes, but I can't make money all the time. That's because people look right fucking through you. They know you're after the check. They're not going to sign the agreement. They know you're after their money. Dude, listen to me. If you give a shit about people, we don't really sell anybody. All we do is help people. Am I right? Yep. Dude, listen, in three years from now, every person that you help is going to have their life changed. When inflation hits in energy, I know today it seems like a sell, right? Like if we would have went to people right now, we'd have told them when gas was a dollar a gallon, hey, guys, gas is a dollar a gallon. It's going to go up to six one day. You think they'd have fucking believed us? No. What if you went up to him today and goes, hey guys, I know gas is $6 a gallon, but I can take you back to a dollar where it used to be. Think they'd fucking sign up? The reason why you get paid so much money is because it hasn't happened yet. You guys get it? You guys are selling something that's going to happen. Okay? I don't give a fuck if it's happening a little bit right now. It's about to happen a lot. So what do you want them to do? Get ahead of it. Am I right? You want them to get ahead of it. Now how, how will they want to get ahead of it? Because of you. Can you guys paint pictures? Can you tell stories? Okay, that's what we're about. Listen to me, the greatest skill that we'll learn today for sure is being an influencer, okay? Now listen to me, if you want to recruit people, do people want to, be like, have to, have, have to, want to be like you, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, some of you guys are like, I don't know, man, I can't recruit anybody good. That's because you're a fucking loser. Nobody wants to run with you. That's like the army. The army right now, the military, they're having trouble recruiting people. They're like, we're 50,000 recruits behind. I go, how the f is that? I grew up playing with G.I. Joes and shit. I don't know, I mean, I mean, some of you guys are younger, but I'm 43. I grew up playing with G.I. Joes, and I was like, dude, I want to be a fucking a soldier when I grow up. Nobody wants to be a soldier anymore because the recruiters look like fat fucks. So if I'm a fat dude, and I'm like, hey, man, you know, like, like Aaron, come here. Aaron, come here. Let me ask you guys a question. You ready? Because I, I just want to prove a point. Okay, imagine this. I'm, I, I look like a loser. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to talk. I don't believe in myself. And I'm trying to hit my quota for the day. Right? And I'm a fat guy and you're in high school. I'm like, hey, man, what are you doing after you know, high school? What, what are you going to do? If I'm, are you going to want to do something with me? No, because no, you don't want to be like me. Aaron, take your shirt off. Aaron, don't want to do this. But watch. Hold on. Hold on. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to act like fucking Aaron, right? Aaron's like, hey, I don't know what you're doing, but you want to come fucking run with me? You want to come run with guys like me? You want to come with people like me that can do elite shit, big dog shit? Right? You want, you want to come with us? What would you guys say? Yep. Isn't that fucking crazy? Right? Now, my point is, he's, he's, 40, he's 44. His birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Aaron. Hey, Aaron's like, why are you making me take my shirt off? You know why? Because I want you to see with your eyes what you would do. Does that make sense? Like, what would you do? Would you go with him? 
No, him, yeah, but not the other dude. Okay, you guys wanna recruit? Listen, hey, just, are you making a quarter of a million a year, yes or no? no. Guy says no. Do you want to? Yes. Are you coachable? Yes. Do you have loyalty, do you have trust? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you always wanted to be a part of something big? Yes. Okay, are you, are, can you commit in a world full of sh a shortage of commitment? Can you commit? I can. Okay, I wanna sit down and have a conversation with you. By the way, don't waste my time. Okay, okay I'm just saying this. I've got an opportunity, it's called a level 10 opportunity. Say 10. 10. Okay, most jobs have a level two, level three, level four, level five. If you're a level 10 skill and you're in a level five job, you still can't get paid. I got a level 10 earning opportunity that maybe someone like you could be qualified for if those things matched. Now I know I'm only 20 years old, right? That doesn't mean shit. The industry that I'm talking about, if you roll with me, it's like heaven on earth. You get to change people's lives and you get to get, get, to get rich. And you run with me all the time. Okay? Does that sound like something you want to do? It does. This guy's like, fuck yeah, dude. I've been hanging out with my buddies. I've heard what they said. I've seen all my options. And now this guy's telling me I can have this fucking life? Does everybody see the big picture now? Yes. This is why we have to be elite. Some of you guys in here right now, you're not fucking elite. You guys don't give a fuck about people. All that changes today. Now here's what I want to tell you. Here's what I, be I, I believe people are resilient. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? People are resilient. You know what that means? That means if you walked in here today and you fucking don't have what you want, you can walk out of here today having it. Does that make sense? Whatever you can see in your mind, you can have in your hand. If I can see it here, I can have it here. Does that make sense? If you guys can't see it here, you can't have it. So what did Alex just say? He goes, dude, I want to make you guys all the kings. Did Alex go, I want to be the king? No, he goes, I want you guys to be the kings. That's what I want. You guys are all going to be the kings. And I want everybody in every industry to come want to work for you guys. But we must have standards. We must roll as a team. We must be elite. Any of my team that you meet, these fucking people are the most intense people in the world. You know why? Because I handpicked them. And you know who they were? Nobody when I got them. I don't want the highest performers. I want to fucking build badasses. So when I see him, I don't care what his numbers are. Question is, is he like us? Do they believe like we believe? Does that make sense? So Alex, the goal today is all the things that you believe, right? Which we've had a lot of conversations. Sometimes you don't get enough time with everybody to instill this belief, to spend time with them. So we step out of selling for a minute. We take a couple steps back. We get out of the crash site and we say, hey man, let's look at this together. Let's look at this as, as a team. Is everybody bought in on this vision? Is there anybody not bought in? Anybody don't know about him? Guys, is this what you've been waiting for your whole life? I mean, is this cool shit? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is it. So anyways, I know I said Alex, like, I keep interrupting him because you guys are like, fuck Andy, you're not even letting him talk. No, it's because whenever I see what he's saying, I see some of you guys hear him, but you guys don't fucking hear him. You guys don't see what he's thinking in his head, and I just wish for a minute that your fucking home run that you've been praying to hit in life is sitting right fucking here. And you keep fucking waiting, and you keep waiting, and you keep waiting. You're going to fucking miss out. This dude said by the end of this year, he's going to have the biggest motherfucking company. When? Did he say three years? He said this year. So when's the time to move? Right fucking now, man. I'm like, shit, Alex, why didn't you say so? You're talking about six fucking months? Well, fuck, dude, I got work to do. I got freaking leadership to do. I got sales to make, man. I'm ready. Why? Because I want to get on his fucking radar. You know what I want? I want my name in his mouth. That's what I want. I love it. I love it when people say, hey, wish you guys do like when I was, this is when I sold, like Andy. I'm over that. Fuck yeah, man. You know why? Not because it's about me, but because I know what I'm doing is recognized. Fuck compensation. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.